Make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video! Before we take any action, let me show you a very nice JavaScript alert package. So it alert is what we are going to use when a user takes some specific actions, like deleting a product for example. So this is what you get with normal alerts. And this with sweet alerts. So let's install it. And of course we will use npm for this. So simply copy the command, go to your Vue.js project, paste the command and make sure you have the save option. Because as we already know, this will add sweet alert as a dependency. So if I click enter, if I press enter, the installation is done and we have this sweet alert dependency right there. And this happened because we used the save option. In the product, we can access the authenticated user and remember that each product has a user ID. So I want to see if the product user ID is equal to the authenticated user ID. If it is, let's display a delete button. So I want to go below this paragraph. I will have an HR and another paragraph. So I will create an anchor tag. I will say delete here. And then this will be an HRF with a hashtag. The class will be BTN, BTN danger. So it looks like a button and the role will be a button. So now I will go down here and I will say V if product.userID is equal to the authenticated user ID, then and only then we display this button. You can even take this uh, v if actually and put it right at the p tag. So if we own the product, then display this p tag, which includes this delete button. Now, if I go back, as you can see, the delete button appears only to the products that the user owns. So when we click this button, I want to display an alert to the user. So I want to use this one. So if I go to the examples right here, we have this alert. So this is what I want to use. So I will grab this code and I will create a method. So methods and I will call this delete product and simply paste the code. Now the reason why I named this method delete product and not delete is because delete is a reserved keyword. So when we click this link button, I want to call that method. So at click call the delete product. Now the last step is to grab the CSS for sweet alert. So I will use of course a CDN for this. So just copy the sweet alert dot mean dot CSS and I will go inside the index.html file and include the link there. Now, whenever you make changes to the index.html file, make sure you reload the browser, otherwise it will not take place. So the changes will not take place. Now, if you go and delete one of the products, uh, let me try this. Oops, I forgot to actually import sweet alert. So inside the product component, we have to import. So import, how do I name this swell? Okay from sweet alert. Okay, back to this. Hopefully now, yeah, now it works. So we have this pop up and if we click cancel, we cancel the operation. But if we click uh, yes, delete it, we get the next pop up that pretty much confirms the operation. Okay, so for now, we do not have any action inside here. However, I want to have an HTTP call that will make a call to the API, to the Laravel API, and delete the product. But first, let me change the text. So you will not be able to recover this product. And uh, your imaginary file has been deleted. Maybe your product, your product has been deleted. Okay, it looks fine. All right, so inside this function, for now, let's just make a GET request to the user endpoint. So this.http.get and then API user. 
then a response okay let's just console the response perfect and let me also get this so if the request was successfully done then we get this pop-up back all right so you expect this to work however this will not work and if i inspect this and i go to the console you can see it right here so it says it cannot read property get of undefined and if you go to this this is where it complains so the get function here doesn't really work so what can we do about this is to bind this function so let me make this a bit more clear so i will bring this down and have a new line there okay so what we can do to fix this error here is to bind this function so dot bind now bind is a vanilla javascript function it has nothing to do with vue.js hopefully you know what bind does because i will not explain it here since in order to understand this course you should know some javascript so i believe that all of you that are watching this video right now know javascript anyway oops i forgot to add this there reload refresh whatever delete yes delete it and now it works we get the response back okay so now let's quickly go back to the laravel application and we have to create a delete end point so we do not really need a route because we are using route resource however we need a function so we will create a function here destroy it will accept an id we can have a try catch so we will try to delete the product destroy and then pass the id and return a response back with a 404 otherwise if we had any kind of problem then i want to return a response problem deleting the product with a 500 error status code okay now back to the view application so the endpoint now will change from api user to api products and the request will be a delete request and i want to concatenate the product id because remember we are expecting an id inside the destroy method so what we can do for this is to access the current product so this dot product dot id like this so let's open the products table which is right here for now i have 46 total products however if i go back to this let me refresh just to be sure i click delete yes delete it we get the response back and the total from 46 now it should be 45 and as you can see 45 however the product is not deleted from the dom so it is deleted from the table but in the dom the change was not illustrated however if i reload you can now see that the product is not anymore there so let me try this again with this one delete yes delete it the product is deleted from the table 44 however in the dom it is not except if you reload so in the next video we will see how we can alert the products component which is the parent that we deleted a product so in order to take out the product from the DOM, because right now, after we delete the product, we simply display the alert confirmation, which is this one right here. So we do not really delete the product from the DOM. So in the next video, we will see how we can pass data from the children to the parent, because right now we have always worked up to down from parent to children. Next time, we will start down and propagate the changes upwards to the parent.